What's up, YouTube? Uh, my name's Cam, and the lighting is really shitty in here. So, um, yeah, my name's Cam. I run a marketing and strategy and new business consultancy based in Denver, Colorado. A couple weeks ago, I committed to creating a video a day for YouTube just to share some personal and professional stuff that I've learned uh, in my young 31 years here on the planet. Um, right now, it is 7.38 p.m. on October 20th, 2020. It's been a crazy year, okay? Um, I've been through a lot personally and professionally over the past two years, and I'm kind of just banging out these like four, five, six, seven minute YouTube videos just about like stuff I've learned as like a legacy project. And I'm kind of enjoying it. Um, we'll see if I run out of material uh, in a couple weeks or a couple months, we'll see. But uh, I keep having pretty good ideas and I wanted to record another video uh, that I'll probably release in a couple days. And this one tonight is all about why you need to journal, okay? Uh, obviously, everybody's been, been saying and doing this for, for a long time, okay? Hey, journal, write stuff down, put it under your pillow, write what you want to happen. And I always made fun of those people, okay? I always thought that was fluff. I was even a journalism major, and I love writing. I love taking notes, okay? I was mostly a journalism major because I didn't have to take tests and, and quizzes and do all that crazy, shitty stuff in high school and got to take, like, one math class in four years. Um, Keene State College. Woo. Anyway you need a journal because I was wrong all of these years. Okay. When you journal, you do a couple things. Okay. You articulate your ideas, you articulate your thoughts. You really dive into what it means to be mentally clear. Okay. You get rid of the bad energy. You get rid of the bad juju. You're able to really write what you want to happen and kind of script your life. It's like pre paving in a way, right? What you want to happen tomorrow, what you want to happen the next couple weeks, couple months with your job, with your personal relationships, with your finances. I have never seen so many positive things happen in my life, right? By just writing them down consistently, okay? Day in and day out, this is what I want to happen. Here are my goals. I'm grateful for this. I appreciate these people. And it's like sending a million prayers. Every single word that you write is like sending a different kind of prayer into the universe. And you start to see the stuff compile together. And over time, not only are you just writing down the, the good things you want to happen, you're getting rid of the bad things, right? Nobody's reading that. You, you, you put it in a journal, you set it and forget it. Um, I try to keep it mostly positive for me, right? What I want to happen. I try not to harp on the negative. But when you do this, you get really crystal clear on the things that you want to happen in your life, okay? You, you, you can only write so fast. You can only write one sentence at a time. Okay, and when you do that, it just allows your brain to sort of sift everything that's up there down into a really concise format for you to kind of reread back to yourself. Okay, you don't need a journal for more than five to ten minutes a day, but whether or not you do this in the morning, whether or not you do this do this at night, there are dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds of uh, thousands, millions probably of successful people out there who have all taken on the habit of journaling. I don't care whether you do it on your computer. I would probably usher you to write actually in a notebook with a pen and a paper, but I've journaled on top of mountains, right? On hikes, in car rides, on buses and planes. And I, I get a lot of really good ideas. I get a lot of clarity, I get a lot of focus. I get to kind of reflect back on my day, who I am, what I'm doing with work, where I'm going in life. And it's nice. I mean, every once in a while, I'll flip back a couple months and I'll look at my progress that I've done with, you know, personal healing and, and forgiveness and just kind of letting things go um, as I sort of write them down. And then also scripting the kind of life that I want, right? What, what my future family looks like, what my future wife that I want to meet looks like, what my future job and career, like where I am standing on a stage. I'm not, I'm not going to get in, into some of this stuff, right? And it's not as narcissistic as I probably just came off, but I want you to, to really get in the habit of journaling. And it's okay if you feel like you're forcing it for a while. I, it felt like I was forcing it for like six months, but when I started to see stuff that I was writing down actually come to fruition, right, either because I'm training my subconscious brain to look for that, or I'm, I'm writing it down, setting it and forgetting it, putting it in my subconscious brain, and then allowing my conscious brain to make the decisions that will get me there eventually over the course of several months because I wrote that down consistently, these are the things and the habits that I want you to get into, into doing, okay? Sounds weird, sounds freaky. Maybe you've been doing this forever, okay? Maybe I'm just a 31-year-old idiot reciting shit on YouTube that you've already learned, right? And you already know. Or maybe you're watching this video as a teenager, 20, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and you're just now getting into the habit of doing this. 
Call it law of attraction stuff, call it manifesting, call it reflection, whatever you want, okay? I encourage you to start writing these things down. See where it takes you six months from now. If it hasn't gotten you anywhere and you don't feel better, then stop doing it, fine, do something else. Keep it in your tool belt. I think it's a habit for life, definitely a huge life hack. Check everything else down in the comment box. I run my own company based out of Denver, Colorado, work with startups, entrepreneurs, a bunch of crazy stuff. 2020 has been a crazy year. Never thought I'd start a YouTube channel. Here we are. Shoot me an email. Talk soon. Peace.